Greetings friends, my name is Nippy and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about choosing your main for Shadowlands and this video will focus on healers mostly because healing is my main role and I'm going over my own thought process on choosing the main for upcoming expansion. Choosing a main can be a daunting task when you have no touch on the gameplay itself. All you got is the videos on YouTube going over what has changed and how is it different to play a specific class in relation to the last expansion. Before we get started, I would like to take the time to thank you for tuning in and clicking the video. Let me know in the comments below how you are choosing your next main for Shadowlands and what that class will be. If you like the content and find it helpful, I would ask you to leave a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps a lot. I have tons of content coming to your way about Shadowland systems to help you get started on your journey. I do stream occasionally, but mainly my focus is bringing the best content possible on YouTube. So, in the topic of choosing a main for Shadowlands, I know this video discusses about healer classes, but pretty much the same thought process can be utilized in other roles as well. Now that we got that out of the way, let's dive right in. First, I would like you to think what kind of content you are going to do once you hit that sweet new max level cap of 60. Do you identify yourself as a mythic plus player, a raider, pvper or something in between? Or do you care? to do any of these contents and rather focus on for example gold making or collecting the new stuff that Shadowland brings. Are you solely going to play a healer or are you interested in playing multiple specs classes have to offer? Then you have to ask the question what those roles would be. Do you like to be in the middle of the action with a melee DPS or do you rather just stand back like most of the healers and ditch out damage that way? Perhaps you wanna mix things up and dunk a few dungeons every now and then with your friends. Maybe you want to be the flexible part of the raid group and play whatever the raid team needs or pick a class that are generally seen as great utility classes who can handle all sorts of raid mechanics. All these things mentioned need to be taken into consideration when choosing a new main. Another thing to consider is the performance of different classes. Do you care to be the flavor of the month and topping every meter possible? Or do you enjoy proving people wrong and playing the underdog? Do you enjoy seeing yourself on top of those pesky meters? In regards to the meters and pauses, I must say it might not be the most optimal way to play the game, especially when healing. But that is a topic for another video, and you are free to go after those things if that is something you value most. As a warning, I would like to add that this might hinder your progress in the content you are currently doing. Last but not least, I would like to mention people you play with. Do you have for example a group of friends you are going to play solely Mythic Plus or just PvP? This kind of ties into the both content and performance talked earlier, but I would like to add it as its own category. Consider what you are going to do and with whom and on what level. If your end goal is to clear Mythic Castle Natria in timely fashion, you might need to take into the consideration the needs of your guild and talk to your fellow guild members about what they are going to play to optimize your right setup. This same concept applies to your Mythic Plus team or PvP team, who you are going to play with and what you might need to make the content easier for all of you. Of course, if you already have a class in mind that you most definitely want to play, you are free to do so. I just want you to realize how this might affect your chances of succeed. If you are more of a solo player and don't really do any group content, you have a lot less things to consider and worry regarding your choice of main class to play. You can base your decision on aesthetics of a class, pick a great solo class or any other variety reason you value most when playing the game. Next up we will go over my own thought process on how I pick a main to expansion to give you some more ideas how to pick yours. At the end of this video you can see how I came to my conclusion of main to play and what that class will be. What I personally like to do is go over the class changes on paper and try to grasp them in a vacuum and think if there is any other changes coming to the gameplay. Good example of this are holy paladins going into the Shadowland. We have used to be the fast based melee healer since the implementation of glimmer of light as a right trait back in the 
patch 8.1. Now as you can see from the changes and massive downscale of stats, that is going to be a lot different. We are still a melee healer for most part, but that has to do with the returning mechanic of bringing holy power back to every paladin spec, which is quite the difference in comparison to the crusader strike holy shock spamming we used to do with corruption in patch 8.3. After checking out the changes to the classes, I have somewhat idea what I like and what I don't like, which narrows my options down a bit. As a mythic raider, my priorities change a bit in regards to our healer composition and what other players in our healing team are going to play. So the next step is to talk to my team and figure out what we might miss or need. As a side note, every healer will be viable in mythic cutting edge content unless you are pushing for those really really high ranks. Using myself as an example, I know that we have a 5 healers in our raid team and 3 out of those 5 healers are going to keep playing the same classes in Shadowland. Those classes will be Resto Druid, Discipline Priest and Resto Shaman. This leaves out Holy Priest, Mistweaver Monk and Holy Paladin. Next, I will consider what those classes have to offer and how the healing meta has been to give us the most well-rounded healer composition going into the first raid tier. Reigning Kings of Healing have been for a while now Discipline Priest, Holy Paladin and Restoration summon somewhat in the mix. Next I like to think why this has been the case and what do classes have to offer that makes them better from the rest of the bunch. This way I can see that Disc Priest brings a lot of healing, damage reduction and bunch of healer DPS into the mix without costing them any throughput at all. Same applies to Holy Paladins but difference being one is melee healer when another one is ranged. Restoration Shaman brings a lot of utility in form of totems and solid healing throughput which makes it a great pick to bring. Next up is predicting if this is going to change and if so then how. So basically I need to go over the changes Shadowland brings to all healers again and see if there is a major power shift coming in regards to changes. This ties somewhat to the first trade tier and familiarizing yourself a bit with it make more accurate predictions. After going over these I can safely assume what will do well in the content I'm mainly focusing on. Next up I will talk to a member of my healer team who hasn't picked his main yet and what options he is considering playing. In my case his choices were Holy Paladin and Mistweaver Monk. This leaves out Holy priest and mistweaver monk or holy paladin. Basically at this point if he doesn't play holy paladin I will because all of the utility paladin brings to the raid group is important to have in my view. It just so happens that he will be playing paladin which leaves out the mistweaver monk and holy priest from the equation. This leads me to wonder if either Holy Priest or Mistweaver Monk has anything to offer that we absolutely need in terms of utility or right CDs. To answer this quickly, the answer is no, they don't. But do I want to play those specs regardless? Now we are in a point that I don't have a class to play and I have eliminated all of the six healer specs because I am a player that doesn't mind which healer class I play as long as I am healing. This leads me to the next thing which is what class might be the best to have two of or which of spec I enjoy playing DPS on if needed. Again, to answer this I need to check out the off spec changes and what those classes have to offer to the raid. This opens up my options again and leads me to decide between Monk, Priest and Shaman. Right out the bat I will eliminate Monk even though I enjoy a lot healing on it. Monk seems to be a wild card in constant state of flux and having a melee DPS of spec is not going to fit really well into our right team. This leads me to the point where we are going to have two resto summons or two priests. But priest having another healer spec offers more options. I'm left with shaman and priest. Both of these classes offer a lot to the raid and have range of specs. So which one will I choose? I know based on changes to these classes I will enjoy healing on both but what about the other specs? Elemental summon seems super interesting and fun but enhancement would have pretty niche usage for me. At the other end of the spectrum is Priest, who has two healing specs and completely revamped Shadow Range spec, which seems super interesting also. Holy probably being pretty niche 
spec 2, but it will offer more options to our healing composition in Castle Natria. Paced on these things, my choice of main is becoming more clear. What will it be? Priest is the answer. I feel like it offers more variety. For me, having two healing specs, I can swap between if needed, or I want to double around with holy on farm bosses. Discipline being the main spec helps our team the most with bringing so much more to the raid in terms of passive DPS, and generally I find it more beneficial to stack two discipline priests rather than two restoration shamans. And added bonus is that I do enjoy more of the discipline priest playstyle than restoration shaman. As an end note, when choosing a main, remember to take into the consideration if you are going to to play multiple characters or alts to think about those as well when choosing a main and how those might impact the decision process and how you can utilize multiple characters to achieve your goals in the game. Using myself as an example, I am going to level up my Mistweaver Monk after my main and keep it up to the same level of progress in terms of gear, legendaries and renown in case I need to play it in some of the bosses or if it just offers more truth put than disc or holy for some weird reason. Don't forget to like and subscribe or leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. See you on the next video.